parent came to me, the father was in Kail. A Kail in Oman, as you know, they don't really have that much money. There's nothing extra. And he had a son, and he supported his son, and he gave his son money. And besides for everything, he gave his son $20, $30, $20, $30. Every day, every two days, he gave him money. The son all of a sudden got a job. A kip, after coming out of his like coma of just doing nothing, finally got a job, and he's making more money than his father. So the father goes over to him after a couple of weeks and says, you know, I was thinking, now that you're you know, a big businessman, you know, you worked already a few weeks in a row, you're getting paid nicely, you're doing so well. So I was thinking that, you know, I always give you, you know, all kinds of, you know, money constantly. So I was, th- and the son cuts him off right away. He says, oh, so now you're punishing me because I have a job? Because I, f- I got myself to, to get up in the morning, now you're not going to give me money because I have money? So I'm just going to quit my job. Does that make any sense? No. When a person is functioning, they'll function, and you can't stop them from function, and they'll be very happy to pay for themselves, and they'll be very happy to support you. These kids are your best investment. You're putting the money in an IRA, in a KIP fund, and one day they're going to support you if you need it. And it's tried and proven that our KIPs are sweet, and they will look back and they will appreciate what you did. But until they're ready... Don't take away whatever they're doing to try to put their lives together. It's so hard for them to go to sleep on time. So hard for them to get up. So hard for them to function. And that's like, so what am I working for if I, if I could have had the money? That's dysfunctional thinking. So you tell her, especially in the first year, we want her to work. We don't want her to be like, what am I doing this for? This is too hard for me. We want, tell her, your money is kaidish kadashan. You're putting your life together. You're still young. Me and mommy, we have nothing to live for anymore. We're almost done. We have no life. We're going to support you. It's our pleasure. Listen, you saw her go through so much pain and dysfunction for so long. She's starting to come back to light. Don't punish her for starting to, starting to function. Let's tell her, especially the first year. You put your money, and I want her to see savings, 3000 6000 8000 10000 That's going to motivate her to do something which... Most of our kips can't do for a while, which is keep her job and to feel good about herself and to feel like I have self-worth. If all her money is going to her expenses and it's so hard, then she's just going to stop. Now, we have to work just to cover our expenses because if we don't, we're not going to cover our expenses. We're normal people. We can't afford that. Kips don't think that way. Kips think, kips think that, what, why am I killing myself? I have no money at the end of the month. I'm poor anyway. I'm destitute. I might as well quit. And that's not what we want. So let her be and nurture her and let her know and tell her it's our pleasure, our greatest chus to support you. Support her to get healthier and healthier and healthier. And Hashem should help that you should, she should cost you a lot of money. You support her and her chasen and her husband one day in Kailul for many, many years. And what are you going to do then? You'll find a way. So find, find it now. We find a way somehow for the expenses that we need. I had a father that told me he had no money for his daughter. And he said, you know, I mamish don't have any money. I'm supporting two sons learning in Kail. I said, you have to ask your das Taira. Your daughter is Michal Shabbos. She's suicidal. She's in pain. She could die. And you, you don't have money to save her life and to save her doing what we're doing that is proven to work. You think it's more important to have boys learning in Kail? You call, that's an extra. Big tzaddikim weren't supported. You tell them, guys, I'm so sorry, but your sister has cancer and I need to, I need to, to pay for chemo. You, you got you to get a job. You can't. Or you find another way to support yourself. Would you do that if, if this was physical illness? Of course you would. So why is this worse? Why is this different? What's the difference? What can kill our children? And what can rip them away from Hashem forever? It's just as important as physical illness. And that is one of the major tips for you. Whenever you're in a situation, think about, if this was physical illness, what would I do? And you will know the answer. Clear? You're awesome. You're great. You're doing great. Chazak v'yamatz.